So welcome again to the Vischer Atlas of 1690. Some of my other favorite parts of this exhibit are the frontispiece. piece. This is number 13 of 141 with Atlas holding up uh, the sky, uh, which is historically the correct way of showing it as opposed to Atlas holding up the earth. Uh, the polar map, uh, and this is number uh, 16 with these spectacularly uh, beautiful uh, rum lines. The map of England, uh, I love this map. I'll show you the dots because um, uh, this table, I believe shows distance uh, to London uh, and lines on the map which show uh, distances between places. So you can tell this map was for people who were, who were traveling and trying to find out how far it was to and from places. Um, this map of Antwerp with wonderful vignettes of uh, buildings, uh, just spectacular. Uh, and you can see some of these uh, um, buildings are still there. Uh, this one, and then uh, also this one here, the Bourse of Antwerp, look, which looks spectacular. Uh, another one of my favorite maps is this one, number 71 of an area called Treveser Trier, which represents one of the oldest dioceses in Germany with a lineage of bishops going back to AD 130. Um, uh, I love this um, uh, cartouche and I'm especially fond of this uh, uh, devil uh, eating grapes. The map of the South Pole, number 77 with Australia and New Zealand, uh, really only partially uh, filled in and discovered. The map of Crete, which indicates a battle scene from when the Ottoman Empire took control of Crete after 400 years of rule by the kingdom of Venice. So this battle took place in 1669. The map of New England, uh, here it is. This is the map that my friend Steve Hannon uh, referred to me. He's an, he owns a copy of this map. It has several different states. Uh, one of the ways you can tell the various states is by looking at uh, Philadelphia. Here it is. If it doesn't have Philadelphia um, uh, on the map, as it were, with this grid, then it's one of the earlier states. The map of Magellanica. Uh, modern day Tierra del Fuego, which depicts either uh, outright uh, fabrications or hearsay based upon the reports of travelers. In researching this map, I learned about the German word, um, uh, the German word Fernwe, which describes the ache for fictional faraway places. And the author of this article, I think is suggesting that it was our aching for faraway mythical places that caused the cartographer to uh, uh, put these uh, things on the map. And then finally, uh, this is not a map uh, by Vischer. It was done by Justice Dankertz, but I found this while researching the Dutch cartographers and I was just, I thought this was just a spectacularly beautiful map of a, of a warship uh, of the time. These things were uh, incredible pieces of, uh, of engineering.